Oh, it's a peacock. It's behind, behind the car. ran away. We decided to fly a kite in the morning. We are going to fly a kite. Look who's finally here, Oli and Sean and Nika. They just came and they're renting a cabin. Hi, Privet. Hey, Cal. How are you? Oh, how are you, buddy? Da, did you like it? Who's your chest? Oh my God. You too. Yo, guys, come on, let's go see inside. Oh. What? Let me see. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Damn. Wipe your feet. Oh, they have TV, bunk bed. Look at that. That's not bad. How much was it? Hundred. Yeah. Ooh, why is it wow. You have you have bathroom in here? Well, you should, right? Watch out, Rona! Oh, there's a big fish! I caught a fish! <laughs> the beer is rolling in. Rolling in the beer and the soda. Yep, that's exactly how you get drunk. Here's my kiddo with Cal. Cal. The dogs cannot go in the cabins. Um, cabins are not pet friendly, as per the owner, but when uh, Sean called, they actually told him that cabins are pet friendly. Well, whatever, that he can come, but unfortunately, they were not allowed, but they made the, an exception one time. That's a nice ride. Yeah. yeah. I want one of those. Um, they have a game cornhole. They're going to bring it here. Are they going to bring it or are you going to go get it? We got to go get it. All right, go get it. It's nice. What's the game? So what I want to show you right now is what these guys at the Lilliped Adventures are doing specifically for us. And we, you know, we, we're not like a regular clients. We're here, we were here back in November, now we back here and then our friends came over. So uh, what they're going to try to do is remove one of the tree that's blocking the creek um, into the spring. So this water will go in like into the spring and get that stagnant water out that's what they're doing look they got a tractor in there they're really nice guys they're just such good people this place got destroyed after like hurricane michael um and john with max with Sean and with Nika, they went, they took canoes, 
uh, when we were sitting with Lexa here. They took canoes just to go see what's on the other side, what's over there. So, and then um, they said it, you just you can see how badly destroyed this place is after the Hurricane Michael. Um, so tomorrow we're gonna take the canoes and we're gonna go check out another area and see if we can actually get to the springs because they said there was branches everywhere and actually huge spiders like this which Lexa is petrified of them like she cried so much today when we said we're gonna go canoeing because she didn't want any spiders and she didn't want Max tipping over the boat so this is another spring that used to be connected to the main uh, waterway right there uh, where we went fishing so as you can see right now, it's a little stagnant, it's a little um, dirty because, but you, the water is still see-through, it's clear, like I can see all the branches inside. This was a spring before, which is pretty cool. So and they have, like you can tell, they had the campsite right over here, like you could probably put a um, tent over here under the tree um, because they have the fire right here, fire pit. And then all these woods, they got knocked down by the hurricane. It's cooking. Burgers? I guess so. Can I get my medium rare? See them? Yeah, we'll get, we'll get it, we'll bring it, we'll cook it. They taste really nice. Oh, I see them! Does it mean the mommy is around here somewhere? No, I think uh, we went on like a swamp tour once. I think when they're that size, they're... Uh, they're done? That's it? Yeah, they're on their own. Oh my god! Baby alligator! Okay, we're coming closer. Ah! <sighs> yeah, so I am not swimming <laughs> in here, sorry. Ah, two more, okay. Mama, right. Mama dance! Oh, no. Yay! <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He's screwing something. Uh, no, it's doesn't. Too big. Dang. So, so they screw something. Uh, Want to see the quail? No. The, well, that's, that's what we're taking a ride for, right? <laughs> you don't have your seatbelt on. <laughs> Why do you need a golf cart? In the city, you will be driving a golf cart where? I don't know, somewhere. Okay, we're gonna go see the quail. Um, they had the quail eggs yesterday, and they said they were gonna take us to Quail Farm because they grow them. And there's the owner coming to get us on the buggy. All of us. Boom, boom, boom. Like Alright, well, we're gonna sit in the back and you guys can sit up front. Why is the red light? Why you put the 
quail or like chickens or anything else, if they see anything red, they'll peck and kill each other. If you put red lights in there, then they see red all the time, they don't bother them. Oh. Oh. They don't oh, wow. kill each other. Like, What it does, it rotates them automatically. They need, they got, all your eggs have a, like chicken, they have a little, little air pocket in them. Let the air pocket stay level and it, it seizes up and kills a chick. Uh -huh. so, so every three hours, these things rotate this way. And that's what these do. And once they, three days before they hatch, you take them out because you don't want them to rotate. Yeah, yeah. I took these out yesterday and I put them in here and they'll be hatching sun. Maybe they'll be hatching before y'all leave. I want the kids see it maybe. See how much bigger it is than the rest of them? That's the first egg the hen lays. I got another hen just started laying. They'll, oh. they'll be like a double yolk. <laughs> two yolks in it because the first egg they lay, or it'll be a little bitty one. Because oh. until they get their egg laying yeah, process yeah. going right. So I know I got another oh. hen started laying today when this mirror comes out. Anybody on? Yep. yep. Oh, we're going to go real fast. You ready? Yeah. Here it comes. How's that? <laughs> How's that? <laughs> So this is how they make money for it. Camping, camping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, you know, um... Um, I don't know why you had problems with that. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free trip here we are leaving today I just wanted to give you a little tour of this place um, if I didn't do it uh, on the first day I think I did a little bit but just like a little more so basically this is the cabin that they are building right now they're using all of the wood that um, was here uh, before Hurricane Michael and then this wood got destroyed obviously all the trees fell down so they're using their own trees to carve the wood and to carve everything and uh, build um, a brand new cabin. So this is not a new lounge place. Imagine how nice it's gonna look and like I can't wait to come back here and um, actually see it all. Look at, look at these benches, like they pretty much should cost so much money. I really like the stand on a a uh, ceiling fan.
Um, what we heard they are doing here is basically they have um, birthday parties, uh, they even have weddings, like they have this gazebo. They have this gazebo that they use for weddings. Um, they have this, let's see what it's called. Oh, it's actually called a theater. They have this little picnic area, um, which is pretty nice. Look, it has all the picnic tables. Let's see, I don't know what's on the back, so we're gonna go find out. I bet it looks so cool at night with all the lights on and look at this look at all the decorations it's amazing oh and they, they even have like little little things like ducks and some uh, pots and pans and this is a burner smoker like a vintage looking and then they have um, a little fire pit place where I'm going right now and they have swings all around that you can sit at night you can light a fire like roast marshmallows talk whatever you want to do um, celebrations, parties, whatever they, they're doing in here. Basically, what I learned about this place is before Hurricane Michael, which if you guys don't know, Hurricane Michael hit Panama City in, well, this, pretty much this area um, in October 2018, and it was Category 5. First it was Category 4, it was two miles shy of Category 5, but then they assessed all the damage done by Hurricane Michael, and it turns out it was about 25 billion dollars so they upgraded to category 5 and it went through here and completely destroyed all the springs so that's why the water is a little dirty like I wouldn't go in the water like this but mayonnaise that's not mayonnaise no it's made with mustard marinated chicken So we're leaving, um, we're leaving Lillipin Adventures. We had a lot of fun. Um, normally, honestly, I wanted to go home like after two days because you know I miss my uh, showers and stuff, but right now I kind of don't want to leave. I mean, it's, it's really nice. Kids, did you have fun? Heck yeah. I want to come again. Lex, did you have fun? Yeah. What about the husband? Oh yeah. Next time we're going to get some other stuff for the camp, which you know, I decided it would be better for us and um, something, stuff that we have to buy extra and things like that. So, but um, yeah, we had a lot of fun. It's a very nice place, really good people. And uh, I think everybody in the area or not, just come visit and you're gonna have a lot of fun.